GNOME may have this gedit as the default text editor, but it is still a favorite of long-time Linux users. It is primarily a text editor, but with some tweaks, it can work wonders. In this video, I'll share some of my favorite gedit tips and tricks. These tricks may be beneficial for writing codes, but some could be useful for general text writing as well. Let's begin. The first one is to install plugins. Many people don't even know that gedit has a robust plugin feature. You can install it to get additional features. There are two kinds of plugins. Official gedit plugins that you, you can access from the editor menu and the third-party plugins that can be downloaded from the project websites and placed into plugins directory. You can access the available and installed plugins by clicking the hamburger menu and then opening the preference window. The preference window has the plugins tab and you can see all the available plugins here. You can use the checkbox to enable and disable the plugins. The second trick is to show file browser in the side panel. If you're working on a project that has multiple files and folders, getting the file browser to see all the available files in the sidebar is quite helpful. Go to Preference and then Plugins and then enable the File Browser panel. After that, click on the hamburger menu at the top right and enable the side panel view. From Menu View and then go to Side Panel. Now change the side panel view to File Browser if it's not changed already. The next one is favorite of the terminal junkies. Yes, you can embed a terminal right into the text editor. What's the point? Well, if you're writing in Bash scripts or Python programming or some other programming, the embed terminal helps you run the script and check the code changes right there in the editor. So you write your code and then you run it and it works as if it's an IDE. The next one is Markdown. If you are a Markdown lover, this is for you. I know there are dedicated Markdown editors available, but gedit is your favorite text editor. You don't need to use another editor just for the sake of Markdown. Yes, with this plugin, gedit plugin Markdown preview, you can enable Markdown preview in gedit. The next one is snippets. Well, good coders code, better coders reuse. And this is where snippet comes into the picture. If you find yourself reusing same piece of code or text, you can save it as snippet and insert it whenever needed. In fact, if you enable the snippet plugin, you will notice that gedit has a good collection of snippets for different programming languages. So if you want a for loop in C++, there it is. It's quite helpful when you are programming with gedit. The next one is dark mode. Who doesn't love dark mode? gedit also has gedit adheres to the system theme and if you switch to the dark mode of the OS level, it also switches to dark mode. The one major problem here is that you cannot read anything on the currently selected line because both text and line highlights or white colored. There is no fix for this, at least not for gedit. However, a workaround is to either disable highlighting the current line or use a different color scheme. I prefer choosing a different color scheme, a dark one, which works in the dark theme and I can see the lines. Since we are talking about lines and highlight, how about highlighting the selected text? Double click a word and gedit highlights all the occurrences of the same word in the entire document. This feature is not enabled by default but it is available as an official plugin and you can easily enable it. Another easy to use and officially provided feature which is not enabled by default is showing the line numbers. Many code editors show the line numbers by default. It helps you quickly go to the line when you see a syntax error at line number this and this. You can enable the plugin and enjoy seeing the line numbers. If you are modifying a file, perhaps it would be better to create a backup copy, no? gedit can do this automatically. Enable this feature in Preference Editor and create a backup copy. This way, if 
you modify a file there will be a file with the name of original file appended with a tilde symbol will appear as the backup file since we are talking about versions and backups how about enabling autosave and jdit this way if you're working on a document and forgot to save it using control s manually the changes get saved automatically this feature does not work on a completely new document that has never been saved on the disk so please keep that in mind so from preference editor you can enable the autosave feature by default it auto saves every 10 minutes but you can change the duration if you want there is also a third party smart autosave extension that auto saves the document as soon as you stop typing it so if you want you can use that third party plugin one of the joys of using any piece of software is discovering its not so obvious features and i have showed you several of them which one you like the most and which one you will probably be using in the future do mention that in the comments see you in another video stay tuned